What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a dope team to show up for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a G-Max Belly Jump Snorlax team alongside with Life Forward Dragapult. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across this channel. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Clover Bells. Clover Bells, shout out to you for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. I cannot wait to get after it and try to get some wins with this Belly Jump Snorlax. But if you guys want to go check out Clover Bells' YouTube channel, link to his channel will be down in the description below. Go show him some genius love, drop, drop him a subscribe, and go like up his videos while you guys are over there. But getting started with this team, we have Snorlax in that top left corner. Love this Pokemon. Haven't used him in a while. We have Glutiny as his ability, the Kusat Berry as his item, and then that move set of Double Edge, High Horsepower, and Ice Punch, both for coverage, and Belly Jump to set up that max attack and get dominating that battle. Togekiss is right next to him as a Support Mon, has Super Luck and that Scope Lens, so maybe we can get some crits, get some big damage rolling. Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, both for Sab, and then Follow Me and Helping Hand to help get the Snorlax set up and help an ally Pokemon do more damage. Middle left is going to be Dragapult Life Orb, probably going to be bringing him in most battles considering he is just a top tier dominating Pokemon. Great all around, he will outspeed most Pokemon and be able to do big damage with that Life Orb as his item. Dragon Darts and Phantom Force both for stab, fly for our coverage and speed boost when we Dynamax him and protect as our final move. Hartana over here in the middle right, great physical attacker with beast boost ability and an assault vest so we can soak up shots. Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Aerial Ace and Sacred Sword, a fairly normal moveset for a Kartana. Bottom left is going to be Rotom Wash. Love this Pokemon as well, but we haven't been able to see a lot of Rotom Wash ever since like the series has like shifted or the change in the series. I feel like this Pokemon has been used less and less on the rank ladder, so it's cool to get back in action with them. Levitate and Citrus Berry as its item. Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot, and Protect. Normal move set for this guy. Final Pokemon is going to be Incineroar. Always a blast using this guy. He's so good all around, and he can just be used in all situations. Intimidate as his ability, Safety Goggles as his item, Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, Taunt, and Fake Out for his moveset. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this GMAX Belly Jump Snorlax team. Hopping into battle number one, ladies and gentlemen, and look at this guy's team. He's rocking a dope team right here. He's got one of my favorite Pokemon with Sceptile. Then he also has Zoro, Colossal, Gale Wings, Talonflame, Luxray, and then he's got the, what is it, Mesperant? Is that how you pronounce it? Something along those lines. It's Azelf, Uxie, and Mesperant. Yeah, so that's the last one. This is a cool team. I never went up against anything like this, so I'm kind of curious and kind of scared at the same time to see what this guy has to offer, but we're going to get rocking with our belly jump combo. Got to get after it that way and try to get ourselves a win here. I'm going to bring Dragapult in the back end and then final spot. I think Incineroar should be going to come in here. I think Incineroar could be really good. But I could get Rotom. Rotom. Rotom could be really nice here as well. But Incineroar is really good here too. Let's rock out with Incineroar. I feel like Intimidate could come up big. He has a decent amount of physical attackers. Let's rock it. Let's get after it and try to get ourselves a win in battle number one. But guys, Series 10 rule set has just been announced. And I don't know if like, I didn't read it fully, but I know no Dynamax is allowed. So that's going to shake up the meta a lot. But I don't know how I feel about that because Dynamax is such a huge part of this format. It really is such a big part. It controls battles. It's a, it's a different way of playing. So taking that out is going to be different it's going to be weird so we're going to see how that is but i think i read it right and i think that it's uh that we keep the restricted mods are coming back i think we get one legendary so i don't i, don't, I never i didn't really like the legendaries and i feel like if no dynamax is allowed and no and you get one legendary i think zassian is going to be overpowered because he can't dynamax already so he was already strong with the Dynamax, so take out Dynamax, he's going to be even better. You know what I'm saying? But correct me if I'm wrong, if any of that information is wrong. I didn't read it fully, I kind of just skimmed through it. I know no Dynamax, that's 100%. So let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about that. But this is what we're going to do right here. We're going to follow me, we're going to get Belly Jumping. He's going to protect you. Thank you for protecting me. Thank, thank you for protecting and wasting turn. And what's Luxray going for? Probably a Wild Charge. If I had to guess, a Wild Charge, right? Yeah, if I had to guess a wild charge. That, that's fine. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Fine by me. He's gonna do that. And we're gonna belly jump. So here's the plan. We have this Kusat berry. You guys do not know what that berry does. When we're in a pinch, we go first. We're gonna eat the berry and go first. So with this half health, we are considered in a pinch. We're gonna use that berry. Snorlax is gonna have first turn priority. 
with that said, I can go for a max hailstorm, which could prevent this talent frame from being sashed, and we can double through and take out the Luxray at the same time. I'm really liking this. I am really liking this. We are going to go for that hailstorm. Just again, just in case this thing is sashed. Or you know what? Or I could Dragon Dark just in case this thing is sashed. Because I would rather try to replenish here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to replenish here, and we're going to Dragon Darts over onto Luxury. I think that's a better play. Instead of waiting for the bumpets. There goes my Barry. We're taking first turn priority. He might go for a Tailwind. That could be a thing. But hopefully he's not sashed. If he is sashed, like I said, we have Dragon Darts separating to take out the Talon Flame and do a little bit of damage on Luxray. And then if he's not, both the Dragon Darts are going to go on the Luxray. And we're going to be able to probably take that out. But yo, I'm loving this Snorlax setup. Usually they rock like a Citrus Berry or something to give it more HP, but I like this Berry setup. First turn priorities left and right, and if we can replenish, it's just constant first turns. He's going to end up Dynamaxing. Is it going to be Talonflame? I'm kind of hoping it's Talonflame. I am kind of hoping it's Talonflame. Let's see who it is. It's going to be Luxray, and I think Luxray is going to go after my, uh, my Snorlax. We can maybe eat. I wasn't expecting that the Dynamax coming out from Luxray, but that's pretty cool. Luxray is looking tough. He's going to go for Tailwind. Replenish comes out first. Show me this thing's not Sash and give me a Replenish. Get him out of here. He's Sash, of course. Did we get a Berry? Did we find a Berry? Show me we found a Berry. We found a Berry, which is awesome. Oh, and this is Zoro. You buttery biscuit. Dragon Arch comes out here. I was like, is he going for a Tailwind? <laughs> it was Zoro the whole time. Oh, what? Threw me a curveball. Made me go after him, though. Let's see what Luxray does from here. He's going to go for a Knuckle. Can we eat this? I hope we do. It's not sad. Oh, that's all day eats. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. So that's a big eat for us. He gets an attack boost, though, so we have to get rid of him. Which means we're going to use Snorlax. We're going to use our Berry. So we have first turn priority here because Berry's going to come out here. That's why we use that thing. But, dude, that Sora threw me off. I was like, wait, what happened? I was like, it's Focus Sash. And then change of form. I'm like, what? Where's Talonflame at? Colossal's gonna come out here. That's fine by me. I'm fine with that Colossal. And I think I'll just replenish here, right? I think I should go for a replenish. Maybe just Phantom Force? Or I Dragon Darts again. I'm gonna go for a Phantom Force. Let's see how this one plays out. Hopefully he doesn't guard. Hopefully he doesn't guard. If he guards, it's gonna waste my berry too. He doesn't guard. Let's go. Let's go. Kusat Berry coming in clutch. Bang. Luxray, get out my game. Give me another Berry. Give me another first turn priority, Berry. Yo, dude, these Berries rock out. This is insane. Give me another Berry. No, we don't find another Berry, but we're dropping into a Phantom Force. Let's see what Colossal does. Hopefully Colossal will uh, go after my... Uh... Uh, no, he goes after Snorlax. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Make a move, dude. Make a move. He brings out Talonflame, finally. Okay, so Talonflame gets out and about. And again, oh no, I do not have Berry, which is tough news. I mean, I could go for Quake, or I could go for a Replenish. Might as well go for a Replenish. He's going to have a uh, first turn on us, but we still have uh, what's called in the back end. Incineroar and, I uh, don't oh, know, we just have Incineroar, that's it. Which is totally fine. That's fine. His Brave Bird comes out here. He used his Gale Wings for that, but now he doesn't have first turn priority because Recoil is a thing. And Phantom Force can come out here and do a decent amount of damage here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What's he going to go for here? Hopefully something that Dragon Pole can eat up. Oh, what are you doing? I think Clear Body should protect you from that. That would be cool, but I guess not. Burn's popping. Let's bring out our final Pokemon, which is going to be Incineroar. This is a solid battle here. This is a solid first battle. Win or lose. We got to show off that Snorlax, which I really, really liked. We come out here. I can't see a Protect coming out from a uh, these Pokemon. But I have to get rid of that Colossal. I feel like that Colossal is just posing so much, you know? Definitely want to fake out this turn. What do I want to fake out onto? Colossal? Probably, right? Hmm. Good dragon darts. What do I really want to fake out onto? This is tough. 
This is tough, but this one's not look good for us. He burned me, man. I'm gonna fake out that Colossal and get after him with a Phantom Force. No way Colossal protects, right? Nope, Colossal doesn't protect. There's a nice little fake out. We're making him flinch. Phantom Force, we're dropping. Hopefully the bird's going after me. Hopefully bird's going after Dragapult just so we can waste out turns here. Brave Bird coming in through here. Nope, he's going after my Incineroar. He is Intimidate, so that shouldn't do too, too much. All right, that's good. He's taking some more recoil damage. And Flinch is going to come out next turn. There goes my burn damage. Buttery Biscuit. Um, I don't know what to do here. I guess we'll Flare Blitz. <laughs> I guess we'll Flare Blitz. But this is this is the, this is is the time I wish I had... Uh, What's it called? What is that movie called? Oh, uh, Darkest Lariat. That's the time I wish I had it. Tailwind's coming through here, so he's going to pick up some speed here. He's going to pick up some speed. Let's see how this one plays out. Stone Edge coming through here. Go after my... I don't even know who I want you to go after. Sonora was able to eat, which is decent. And I could drop into another Phantom Force. Which is probably going to be the play. That's not bad damage coming out from there. This one's so close. Recoil damage coming through here. Burn's chipping away. We well, might double up into my... Uh, might double up into me. At this point. Definitely got to go for a flare, but So I protect, though. Because he has Tailwind. I think Protect's going to be the play. Let's protect my Dragapult. I can totally see him doubling up into me, knowing I'm doing that much damage now. So there goes my Protect. Let's see how this one plays out here. Vapor comes through. There's a block. And show me your Stone Engine into me. He's going to EQ. Oh, no! This thing's rocking EQ. Doesn't affect me, but it's going to take out my Instant Order. That's going to be GG's. That was legit like my last chance there. Was to protect that Dragapult. Because again, I, he was gonna he was gonna double up into me. So I was hoping it was two single moves doubling up into my Dragapult. But solid first battle coming out here. We got to show off that Snorlax with that Kusat Berry, but we weren't able to pick up the win. I mean, maybe we could pick up the win. Maybe if he misses an attack, something along those lines. Let's see. Let's see his plays. Let's see his plays. He does have Tailwind, so speed is in his favor. Actually, we should be able to outspeed a Colossal, which could be big. Honestly, this could be big. If we eat this Brave Bird, we have a shot at winning this. Let's see. Eat some. We eat. Hold up. We're Phantom Forcing. I think we're going to lose the Burns. We're going to lose the Burns, man. Because I think we're going to be able to take this out. And the Burns going to take us out next turn. And Tailwind would have ended. Burn really wins him the game? Nah. Look at this. Yeah, he outspeeds. He's going to miss. I'm going to slide through. I'm a fan of force. I'm going to take you out. I do not take you out. Of course, this thing gets a free focus edge. And burn takes me out or life orb. Okay. That's fine. Fair, 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 fair. Solid first battle. Let's hop into our second one and look for our first win. Hopping into battle number two. And we're going up against some fun teams today. This guy has a Polisand team alongside with Galarian Articuno, Luxray, Urshifu, Dusclops and Lipard. So Dusclops and Lipard is a little, little scary because they do some crazy stuff. I know Lipard has copycat, so I'm wondering what he's going to go into. Maybe he might Dynamax the Articuno and go for a Trick Room with a copycat. Uh, and then have him in the back. That could be a play. We'll see what happens. I kind of want to go Belly Drum, but at the same time, I think best play would be going Dragapult considering he has Dusclops. So we're going to go Dragapult here in uh, battle number one. He's going to be our Dynamax mom. We're going to keep, or not battle number one, in battle number two. We're going to keep Snorlax in the back end. They're going to say, hey, we showed you off last battle. That was fun, though. Using that Kusat Berry, really, really fun. I wish we would have been able to pick up the win, but we didn't. But at least we got to show off that Pokemon to its fullest potential and what it's used for. But we're going to go Dragapult. Who should I go in with Dragapult with? I think it's going to be Incineroar. I think Incineroar could be great here. We have Fake Out. We can control. We can get a nice, all, nice big Intimidate off as well. Uh, I am going to bring Rotom, and I think Kartana. I think we're just going to full out on the attacking slide, side and rock out with this battle. Let's get it. Let's get this win. I'm looking for it right here because I really wanted that win in that last battle, but I didn't get it. So I'm like, yo, battle number two, we're getting it right here. But, guys, I didn't even ask you guys a question of the day, and that is what games you guys like playing, enjoy, or instead of Pokemon Sword and Shield. For me, I've been playing a lot of Valorant on the PC. Been having a blast with that. So that's been my game as of recently. Let me know your guys' games in the comment section down below. But he goes Palisand, who has an awesome shiny. Like, look at that shiny. Looks so dope. Looks so dope. And he goes in with what's called as well. That's cool. So, nice little Intimidate, but I think both these guys are physical attacking, right? 
Or not physical, special attack. Well, I can't speak right now. I keep, like, fumbling words and stuff. Don't know what's happening. Don't know what's happening, but we're going to Dynamax here. I am going to go for that Phantasm. And I could go after Colossal, but I'd rather go after you. I would definitely rather go after you, and I think I should just double up into you. Just get rid of this Pokemon. I have to get rid of Sir Warclops. That's what it's called in this language, which is hilarious. <laughs> I can see him protecting the Palestine. That could definitely be a play, but Dustclops has got to go. He's got to get out of my face. And I think the play would have been to lead the, uh... Lead the, uh, Togekiss, because I think a Helping Hand Phantasm does take out Dustclops. So that's why I'm doubling up into it, because I do not have a Helping Hand. I'm going to do this. He's going to end up Dynamax and Palisand. He is Ghost Typing, so he might... I think he's coming after me. Maybe he'll guard. Let's see. Maybe he'll guard. So there's the Palisand coming out from the ground, looking all spiffy. Looking all spiffy, looking all curly. I love it. I love it. Let's see how this one plays out. Show me he's guarding. He ends up not guarding, so we're just going to drop a Phantasm. Does this pick up KO? It doesn't, but it brings me down to red. That's why I said Helping Hand and Phantasm will take out the Cops. That's why we doubled up into it. So there's that defense drop, which is pretty big. And Flare Blitz should be able to outspeed both these guys. Come across, finish off the Suscops, and he does not get off the trip. So we need my boy Dragapult to eat up this Phantasm. If he does, we're sitting really good. Let's see what happens here. That's one plays out. Oh, he's just going to go for an ooze. That's easy. Eats. Thank you. Thank you, Pile Sam. I like that all day. I like that all day. That's not stab. It's doing no damage. We're getting after it. He gets special attack boost, though, so we got to get rid of this guy. We gotta tell this guy, get out of my face. I might pardon shot onto the next Pokemon over. And because I think a Phantasm should be able to take out Palisand, no problem. He's minus one on defense. And he's gonna send out Urshfu. We're definitely gonna throw a parting shot onto him. That's our play. Let's go here and just pardon shot. I might go for a wicked blow, which is definitely which is scary. But we outspeed that thing. So if I get rid of Palisand, you can get rid of my Dragon Bolt. And we should be fine. So there goes my Phantasm. Big old damage coming out here. Get this thing out of here. Get him out of here. He was minus one on defense. I knew that was just dumping on him. So Dragapult's here, rocking out. Takes out Palisand, no problem. And we're going to get after this Urshfu. I do think Urshfu's going for a wicked blow. But like I said, if I get rid of this Palisand, I do not mind if he takes out my Dragapult. Let's see what happens here. Oh, he's going for Surging Strikes. This is water. I can never tell them apart. I think it's by their stance, right? This might take me out. This is 100% going to take me out. Sorry, Incineroar. But you're gone. But I don't mind that either. I thought he was gonna. I thought it was the dark one. I thought he was gonna go for the wicked blow to take out my Dragapult. But now we have Dragapult with speed. He shows he is Orb, so an airstream just takes that out 100%. And we're gonna bring out my boy Rotom, finish off this battle. Light work. This one's easy. This one's easy. Clean. Dragapult's just running this one. He's just out and about running it. He's gonna throw out his final mount, which is gonna be Luxray. And it's shiny. Ooh, shiny Luxray. Mwah. Looking beautiful. Timonade comes out here. Does not affect any of my Pokemon because we're clear body on the pole. And Rotom is special attacking. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna air stream. We're gonna say air stream. Out my face. We're gonna hydro pump on Luxury. Luxury. Tell him, stay in the battle because this isn't gonna KO. And the next turn we'll get him out my face. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see what happens here. He detects. Well, okay, that was smart. I'll give him that. I'll give him that, but we still get off that airstream and our speed boost is still coming through. Bang, doing some nice damage. I can't fly next turn, which I might have to. Let's see the play. What is Luxury gonna go for? I am curious to what Luxury is gonna do here. The speed is just in our favor all day. Hydro Pump comes through, we open up our washing machine and we shoot a laser beam of water at, down this Luxury's throat. And do way more than half. Play Rough comes out, which we should be able to eat. It's not stab, yep. Bring me down to 72. I knew it was going to be a lot, but I knew it wasn't going to be enough to take me out, which was enormous. Which was enormous. Um, I could dart. I want to fly. I really do want to fly. But I think darting would be better. Or Phantom Force would be a lot better, right? This thing is minus one on defense, so Phantom Force should be able to take out. And the reason I am going for Phantom Force is so he doesn't attack and then protect next turn. But that's my thought process behind this, all this. And we're just gonna go after Sluxray. So there goes the Aqua Jet. Oh, wait just a minute. Okay, we eat, yo, we get a free Focus Sash. <laughs> we 
We get a free focus ash. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. The Aqua Jets. Oh, this game now. Get him out of here. Luxray, go home. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm thinking maybe I should have went after or paid attention a little bit more to the typing. Because if I would have known he was a... Uh, he wasn't dark type. I would have thunderbolt over onto him, and air streamed over onto the uh, Luxray, or went for like a phantasm something along those lines. But that's gonna be GG. And of course, come out here, clean this one up, finish it up. Time to get out of my face and end this battle. We go one and one for our first two battles. We can hop to our third and final battle and look for that winning record with this amazing Dragapult and Belly Jump Snorlax team. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a heavy meta team right here. Really heavy. He has the Tapu Fini, the Rillaboom, Urshifu, Regilecki, Metagross, and Tornadus. I think he's going to lead Tornadus, try to get Tailwind set up. How should I go into this? How should I play this one? This one's going to be a tough one for us. It's going to be a real tough one for us. Hopefully, we can get rocking with it. Catch ourselves a win here. Get that winning record for you guys. But I got to think a little bit. I do not have a fake out. I do not have speed control. I could go Dragapult. I could go Dragapult and just start air streaming and taking speed that way. That is always a good option. We go Rotom. Rotom's not bad here either. Or I could go crazy and just go Snorlax try to have some fun with this. That's always an option. That is always an option. Because we do get first turn priority with the berry and we could keep getting berries, which could be really nice for us. Hmm. We are rocking Quake. I am going to go with Snorlax. I don't really care if I lose this one. I'm trying to show off Snorlax here. The first battle, we got to show him off, but we didn't get a win. Second battle, we got to show off the Pult. Got ourselves that win. So third battle, let's try to get ourselves a win with the Snorlax, even if it does mean we lose. <laughs> I just like to have fun on this channel, mess around with you guys and make some good content. But we need two more Pokemon. I think Pult is going to be a good mod here. Or, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go Pult and Incineroar. Go Kartana. Run it. Let's go Kartana. I just want Kartana. I don't know why. Incineroar probably would have been the better pick, but I'm just like, yo, we haven't used Kartana in this video yet, so let's throw him in here. Let's just throw him in here. Like I said, guys, I don't care if I win or lose. Like, I do three battles straight, and I record, and it, it is what I upload. Like, I don't do any, like, I don't do, like, six battles and then pick my favorite three. Like, what you see is what you get, which I, which I love doing, because it just shows you guys, like, how I play and all that good stuff. So I just think it's better for the channel, and it's just more real content, you guys know? But he's going to go in with the Finny and the Landers. Do you think this Finny's rocking Haze? There's a possibility. Do you think this Finny's rocking Haze? I'm going to say no. He's super soft. I'm going to say nah. He's soft. He ain't rocking Haze. We're going to follow me. We're going to drum up. We're going to get after it. That's my plan. That's my plan. But if he's rocking Haze, you guys already know we lost. But it is a possibility. It is totally a possibility that he's rocking the haze. That'd be so whack. If I go for a follow me here, and then belly jump, he just goes like, haze. I'm like, bro, what you mean? That'd be a huge play, because that would just take out half my HP. Let's see what happens here. Okay, that one gets popping. Let's see what top is going for. I really do wonder what top is going for. I'm going for muddy water, which I'm totally fine with. And drop a muddy water. I'm fine with it because it's not haze. It's the act drop. Belly jump comes through. The best part about this is we have first turn priority. So I'm gonna take out the top of Finny, no problem. And I'm gonna try to replenish my berry. And I'm going to try to replenish this berry. Max replenish. Let's get after you. And then I could helping hand, but I don't think there's a point. Let's just go for a follow me. Let's just go for this follow me. He's probably like, oh, we outspeed. I'm just gonna double up into this thing. I'm gonna say, nah, I'm following me and I have Kusat Berry. We're going first as well. The reason I am following me here and using my Kusat Berry is because I do not want to actually take a lot of damage. You should be able, I think, for like a berry, you should be able, like a berry like this, you should be able to like determine when you want to use it. Like I should be able to use my move and then like a, a prompt should pop up. Oh, yo, low battery, hold up. Your boy, you guys already know, your boy is always prepared. Your boy's always prepared. Always plugged in at all times. Right here. Let's get it. Let's plug this one in. Always prepared. But they're going to follow me. We ain't rocking out with that. But like I said, I think there should be a prompt that pops up. Would you like to use your berry? I think that should be a thing. 
But there goes my G Max Replenish. Top of Finny, do me a favor. Get out my face and give me my berry back. Yes, sir. We found her berry. <laughs> we get her berry back. Follow me. He's going to poke out from here. He's going to go for an air slash. That's going to be easy eat for a toe kiss. So we can get off another follow me here and we get off another first turn priority with Snorlax. But you got to love it. You got to love it. I have to go for a follow me. Like, I have to protect the Snorlax. Actually, I honestly don't have to. I do get first turn priority. He's going to throw out Urshifu. And I think I just double up into Urshifu here. Try to find a berry. I know this thing's going to be Sash, so I kind of want to just not go for a follow me here. Who do I think pose a bigger threat? Who do I have in the back end? Let me see my Pokemon. I have Cartana and Pole. Okay. Hmm. We go for a Hailstorm. I don't think he's Sash. I really don't think he's Sash. I'm just gonna go for Follow Me here. I think the Tornadus is Sash. I do think the Tornadus is Sash. I'm gonna go for a berry here. Follow Me's gonna poke out here as well. And hopefully we can find another berry. That would be huge. Here goes this one. I don't think the Urshifu is Sash. That's why I think I'm, I'm safe going into this. Take him out. He is the Sash one. God dang it. God dang it. Just find me a berry. I did not find a berry. Air Slash comes through. Can we eat? Should be able to eat, right? We do eat, which is lovely. And here comes close combat here. Okay. So, we're sitting in a situation here where he's Tailwind up, right? Yeah, he has Tailwind. And he's going to be able to take out my Stormax. I can't guard. I wish I would have found another berry. Berry would have been great. And I could go for a Dragon Dart. But I really don't want to bring him out. Hmm. Urshu does hit through protects. I think we just go Kartana here. I think we just go Kartana here and we take out the uh, Urshu. So we can't guard. Which might be our play. We just guard here because he's probably going to try to drop a close combat. And Aerial Ace, is it never misses, so I'm going to go for that. So we're going to drop an Aerial Ace here. Hopefully he goes after my uh, Snorlax with that Urshu. But then I can get a beast boost with Kartana, and that could be big here as well. Sucker Punch comes through here, and it fails. Lovely. Air Slash comes through. Don't you dare flinch me. Don't do it to me. Thank you. All right, no flinch comes out. Urshfruit gone. Get him out of my face. Urshfruit, get out of here. Get him out of here. All right, so we know the Tornadus does not have a Sash. And we know Tailwind is over, right? So he's going to have to go for another Tailwind, which means... One of these Pokemon are probably going to get off a shot. Unless he brings out Pokemon with like EQ or something along those lines. Let's see who he brings out. He's out Metagross. Who he's going to end up Dynamaxing. He's going to end up, end up Dynamaxing. So I think in this case we double into him. I can go for a high horsepower. Actually no. We're going to go for a high horsepower and a smart strike. Over on the U. Let's see who he goes after. Because he's going to set up a Tailwind right? He might not. Let's just see. Definitely Dynamax into Gross. I think he's going to, yeah, Dynamax Gross into a Tailwind. This one's going to be really close. He might end up clutching this one up. He might end up clutching this one up. Let's see how this one plays out. If I can get rid of one of his Pokemon here, that would be big. But I don't know if Kartana is able to take out that Tornadus. It's plus one. So is there a Tailwind? Nope, Air Slash coming out here first. Can we eat this one up? Cartana, can you eat? You don't. That's rough news. That is rough news. So it ends up not going for the Tailwind. And we are not able to pick up a win with our Snorlax. Unless we eat this. But yeah, no shot. We're not able to pick up a win with our Snorlax. That's rough news. That is rough news. But I feel like we played well with the Snorlax. I feel like we played well. It was just like, we Snorlax is good to get off that, like, that first one or two KOs. And then eventually he gets wear and tear down when he does not have his berry anymore. That's his problem. He thrives with that berry. And once you, I, I realize, once you don't have that berry, it's kind of a wrap from there. Kind of over with. But he does make a smart play by not going into a Tailwind. Taking out my Pokemon. We can drop a Phantom Force, which eh, could be play. We do outspeed, so. I'm just going to go for a Phantom Force over on you and try to dodge moves. Because he, he is Rock and Hailstorm. 
We know Metagross is usually Rock Ice Punch on their moveset. But we're not going to quit. We're, we're still going to go after this. We're going to Phantom Force here. Maybe he'll Tailwind. Let's see what happens here. Going to be able to dodge, though. Brutal Swing comes through. He's just proc and policy. He's just proc and policy. That's GG's. Hey, it's over with. <laughs> it is over with. Next Hailstorm comes through. Maybe he, he acts as a clown. He Tailwinds and Hailstorms first. Maybe he does a clown move. But I still think if he Tailwinds, we still out speed. Show me he Tailwinds. Yo, that'd be hilarious. Tailwind. Nope, he doesn't Tailwind. He plays smart. Phantom Force comes out here. We're not even able to pick up the KO with that. And he's going to be able to drop a Hailstorm here and say GG's. Right, Air Slash into Hailstorm. Yep. GG's. GG's. An awesome team right here. Clover Bells, thank you so much for dropping it in my Instagram DMs. I absolutely loved it. Even though we went 1 and 2, we didn't get a win with the Snorlax, but we were able to show him off fully. In two battles, we got to show him off fully. He just thrives with that Barry, and once he loses that Barry, it's pretty much over for him. I'm so glad I got to show off this Snorlax team for you guys today. I think it was fun all around, and it was something totally different considering I never used a Kusat Berry on the ranked double ladder. So we got to show that off and show what it is all about. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.